the sea otter swimming this morning. Let's come to say hi. What's up? Good morning. It is late, mid late September, and uh, we're gonna go out and maybe go for some lingcod. Season wraps up in a week or so. And then also uh, maybe some last minute uh, salmon fishing as well. So maybe we'll get some, some last minute Chinooks. That'd be awesome. But all right, let's get to it. There, boys, we got one. We got one jumping right here. He's in front of me, though. It's not great. Decent salmon, though. Let's see what it is. Right away, that's pretty cool. We're just gonna play him out a little bit here. Let's see what we got. It'd be cool if there's a coho. Can't see him yet. Okay. Looking pretty good. He's not giant. I saw him jump. There he is. Let's see what you are, bud. Alright. He's just coming for a ride right now. Let's see if I can. Oh, a little fishing up. Could be a could be a keeper. Is this a feeder Chinook? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's a Chinook. I think he's big enough. Let's see there. He is close. Minimum size. That's 24 inches. That's not quite it. He's not quite it, I don't think. Nice fish though. Okay, I'm gonna just wet my line here. I'll wet my hands. Get so you wanna get the so you don't damage the Oh, he's close to a keeper, man. He's, he's close. I'm not going to bother. That's a close one. Ah. Okay, bud. Okay. There he is. There he is. That's close to a keeper. Alright, let's let him go. There he goes. Alright, good start. Something small. Alright, what do we got here? Another little shaker. Something small. I thought I uh, popped it off the cliff just when I hit the bottom there, just by setting my line, but just as it dropped, this guy hit me immediately. There's all these young little feeders. They're uh, very aggressive. These little feeder Chinook that live here year round, they're uh, super aggressive. You have to, ooh, he's, he's fighting pretty hard for a little guy. All right, let's have a look at him and see what he is. Maybe he's even a coal will get lucky. I don't know. I don't think so. He looks like a feeder Chinook. Uh, we'll get you back here. It's kind of similar to the last one, a little smaller, though. a little smaller. Should just do that right there. It's a hatchery. There it goes. I didn't even have to touch them, I just used the hook to. Probably a better way to do it. Alright. Okay, we're gonna switch to some, some jigging action. Something, something small. Pretty little rockfish. Saw him off the sounder. Oh, it's a little, uh, oh, it is a rockfish. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hee -hee. A little, little rockfish caught 
Harper. Good job here. Time to bring out the big guns. We're bringing out one-eyed Larry. There he is. The infamous lure. He is deadly to the Lincods. I just use a, a dual lock just to do a quick change out so my leaders are all pre tied. Swivel, leader line, and then all I have to do is just snap it on. Alright, here we go. One eyed Larry. Larry about to do some work here. Doing what he does. Come on, Larry. Go get you some. Go get you some. See, Larry had it. First drop. I knew it. It's the spot. This is the spot. Every time. Pulling. Not a big one. Good little shakes, head shakes, though. Yes, Larry. Yes, Larry. That's like three for three on this spot. Where are you? Looks like it could be a keeper. Look at the size of this guy. This is a blue one too. Oh yeah. All right, let's have a look at this guy here. Hold on a second here. He's got good. Don't go sideways into the thing. Yes, yes, here we know, we know. We know. I know, I know, I know. Nobody likes having a hook in their mouth. his cheek so hard I can't even get it out. Oh there you go, we got it. Oh there's an the octopus in there. There's an octopus in here. Woohoo! Look at that. Some bait. Put that on there, thank you very much. Leave the octopus. Alright, there he is. Nice blue wing. Almost a keeper. Oh yeah. No way. He was on the whole time? He was. He's been hanging on the whole time. I knew it. I thought there was a fish that might have been hanging on. I was like, there's gotta be, this guy's been hanging on to the bait the whole time. He was swimming around with it and I was dropping him up and down. I was like, I just, he wasn't. That's so weird. That's hilarious. That is, that's funny, man. I felt it drop and I thought, well, that didn't feel normal. That didn't drop normal that time. That's so funny. It was just a little lingcot hanging on it. He was hanging on to that thing. Get him in the boat first. 
not quite legal. I don't think so, but he's close. So I did a measurement of that one that Larry got there, and that was 62. Uh, 62, 63, just shy. So we let that guy go. We're coming to the end of the link guys season here. Whoa, there's some caps now. Time to get off the water pretty quickly here. So I'm going to do a couple more passes on this shelf here. Let's see if we can get ourselves a keeper linger. For dinner! All right, Larry's going back down, ladies and gentlemen. Larry the lure, the lingcod lure, I call him. He's deadly. He's only got one eye, but don't be, don't be convinced that, uh, don't be fooled. He'll, he'll get you. He'll get you. See? What'd I say? Second drop, second fish. Larry, doing work. Yes, Larry. Second fish, second drop. Larry's on it. The bite is on right now. I can tell. Let's just see if there's a keeper wing. Doesn't feel as big as the last one. It's hard to tell though. Sometimes you can get them in the side and it's hard to tell. He's not really fighting too much yet. Oh, maybe. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I can feel some head shakes. Oh, there he goes. That's it. Okay, that's a better fish. This is a good fish. Yes, this is a better fish. This is the keeper link. Unless I got him in the side. This is a better fish. I can tell already. This could be it, boys. This could be our keeper. Larry, come on. Let's get him. Uh, get him, Larry. Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm gonna bring the net. Uh, let's just check. Just wanna make sure I get him in the net here. Yeah, this is it. I think this is it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there, guys. Just get him in the boat. Let's see here. Oh yeah, so this guy's for sure 60. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this one's bigger because the other one was 62, 63, so we'll check. On the, yeah, he's there, he's 60. We're pretty 66. All right, he's a, he's a keeper. That's pretty sweet. All right, that's awesome. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. This is kind of dangerous. You don't want to fiddle around with it. Something healthy. This is not the. Uh... And that we picked up quick. So I'm gonna get ripped here. So this will just keep me stable. I'm stabilize myself. If I need to. Just water. Yeah, this is something that you don't really want to get if you're new to kayaking, kind of like how I am. You got to be careful. There's no sense of taking a chance. I was being a little bit more risky because most of my whole bunch of fish are in here. Oh, geez. Well, it's not even close. I didn't even realize how big that wave was because it was cute. All right, we're just unloading now. We're done fishing. So yeah, the salmon was a bit of a stretch today. That sucked. Uh, man, it was a tough go on the salmon. Lots of smolts, uh, a lot of short strikes. Um, you know, we, uh, so, but we did get at the end, the wind really picked up, but we got to our lingcod spot. Um, got an, and then Larry, a 66, 67 centimeter lingcod, which was awesome. But uh, anyway, that, it was too it was too wavy out there. I shouldn't have been out there. So that was the wind picked up big time out there. So it was good for me to get off what I did. But uh, anyway, we still got a lingcod. So part two of this video, uh, I think I'm gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. So I'm just gonna go take this home and maybe we'll do some fish and chips or do some sort of meal. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got our lingcod here. So this one just barely made her. I'm gonna work that right along the. that one. Oh, that's a better fillet. A little bit better there. Look at that. 
huge herring. Huge fish in there. Or some sort of fish. I love how easy it pulls off like that. A little cheap meat. There's our fillets. Those are some nice ling cloud fillets. All right, we are back in the kitchen now. So this is the next day. And uh, the ling cod I filleted as you saw there. And I've now just chopped it up a little bit better. A little bit nicer pieces there. Took off the skin as you just saw. And now I'm, I'm gonna do a really simple recipe. This is really basic. Like all I'm gonna do is uh, maybe, oh, I'm missing some, some breading. But this is the ingredients here. I got some garlic from the garden here, some butter, some lemon, some parsley, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and uh, if you like a little spice or some red pepper flakes. And I've got some of this I'll just use to coat the fish. And then I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna do a nice little sauce there and, and do a nice brown butter. And pretty simple recipe, but we'll, we'll see how it turns out. All right, to prep this, I'm just gonna do a little bit of, uh, you can put cornstarch or some sort of little breading thing on here, but I'm gonna use a little catch and cook, local BC, sorry, Manitoba J. Simmons rub there. Just gonna coat this on here. Oh, by the way, this has been dried off, so I pep I used a paper towel and uh, had these in um, paper towel overnight, so they're really dry, which is good. It's gonna add for a nice crunchier fish. We've got our little, these are our cheeks, if you're wondering what these little pieces are. Those are our cheeks, if you remember, we cut those out too. I got the headphones on, listening to a few uh, tunes and some podcasts while I cook, which I like to do very much. Kind of one of my, my jams. What do you guys like listening to for podcasts? Are you guys big uh, podcasters? I like listening to uh, sports. I like listening to uh, politics. And I also like listening to theology. You may not know that about me, but yeah. All right, so we got a good little coating on here. That is nice. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, boo. Beautiful, beautiful. There's probably some salt and pepper already in this. I didn't even look, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top anyway. How much that pepper is really gonna do anything on there? All right, fall along and uh, enjoy. Okay, I got like four tablespoons of butter here. So just like a stick of butter that you buy. If you and that's salted butter. Okay, we melted down our butter. Butter is getting a little foamy here, almost brown. I just added my large clove of garlic. So we got full on buttered garlic right now. Which smells amazing. Okay, that butter is getting there. You can see it's starting to get to that consistency I want. See that brown butter there, the brown sediment there? That's what we're looking for. Okay, oh, loving goodness. Our brown butter. So we got a tablespoon of parsley. Mix that in there. About two tablespoons of lemon juice, so I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna add just a few flakes. This is just red pepper, just a little heat. Not too much heat. Doing its thing. All right, let's focus on the link cod. Okay, I just added the olive oil, and now we are ready for our fish. All right, I just took our sauce and poured it over the fish, and took it off the heat too as well, so the fish has been cooked. We cooked uh, four, side, four minutes one side, and about three, four minutes on the other side as well, until uh, everything was nice and flaky, and uh, then we added our sauce. So we just coated it. So that's uh, that butter, lemon, parsley, garlic mix there. So I'll just spoon it over top there a little bit as it's, uh, and we're pretty much done. Now we serve with our, our sides. Babe, what is it? Do you smell good? Does that smell good, babe? What do you think? Oh, yes. Does that smell good? That ling cod smell good? Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Yes. Oh, yeah. Such a good girl. Hey, should we try some of that ling cod? Yeah. Chocolate labs are the best, aren't they? All right, we're going to do a quick taste test. The sides are still in the, in the oven, so I'm going to do a quick taste test. That's flaky, that one. All right, I'm going to give this a try here. Corner piece here. 
There it is. All right. Mmm, you can taste the parsley and the lemon right away. Hmm. It's a very mild, but still really nice. Mmm. Yeah. With rice or a salad, this would be perfect. Um, this is really good, actually. I, I almost like this better than deep fried. Honestly, this is nice. Honestly. Mmm, that's nice. It's such a mild fish. This is really good. Yeah. I'm not just saying it for the camera either. This is really good fish. All right, we got to get the other opinions here. So we've got Asher here. What do you think of the fish? Have you tried it yet? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Good. Is that better? No, I don't know. That one, yeah, you're right, actually. That one, that yours looks pretty dry. Mine looks better than yours. Here, I'll give you a better piece. I got a better piece for you. Mom. Mama Bear, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's very good. She did try it already? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got three for three. Levi's not having fish. What are you having, Levi? I'm um, toast. You're having toast tonight. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very healthy right here. Here, I'll get you some better fish. All right, guys, sign it off. And say goodbye from BC Fishing Journal, Levi, or Asher? Yeah, bye. Levi, see you later. Bye. And we'll see you in the next one.